Welcome back. I'm Dan. And I'm Nathan. And we're here today to talk about getting latitudes and longitudes from the Google Maps API. We're here in Scranton, uh, but we don't know exactly where we are, so let's go find out. So the first thing we're going to want to do is import the, oh, the trusty old OS module. Uh, we'll be using that to access an environmental variable that we stored um, in, our op in our operating system from the terminal. Um, in a previous video, we showed you how to do that. So if you missed that one, be sure to check it out. This, this variable is uh, the API key that's actually going to allow us access to Google's API. So we'll store it in a variable called API key, and we'll use the os.environ um, dictionary to access um, the key, the API key, key as it as it were. Um, and so we'll store that as a variable. Um, the next thing we're going to want to do is actually uh, import um, the tool, the, the module Google Maps. This is where all the magic happens. This jump, this pulls out all the search results from a given search when we send it to Google Maps API specifically. If you don't have this installed, it's as simple as a pip install Google Maps from your command line and you'll have it. Um, from here, we're going to start up a client. This is going to be what's actually going to connect to Google's servers and give us results. So we're going to do Google Maps, gm equals Google Maps dot client, and pass in key equals our API key variable. So we'll run that. We've instantiated that object. Um, we're going to call this next uh, variable geocode result because that's exactly what we're going to be doing is uh, uh, geocoding. Um, so yeah, we're going to go gm.geocode with parentheses of our search and for us right now what's going to do going to be Scranton and then if you do complex searches you get more than one result because we only care about the first result we're going to just do a zero inside of brackets to get rid of the list and then from there we can print it just to see what it looks like and lo and behold it gives us a lot of details and sure enough it did find us in Scranton in the US and it gave us a bunch of other details um, what we're gonna do is pull this out key by key because this is actually a dictionary so just to make it a little more readable, we're going to start off with printing just the keys at the top level. So if we go geocode result dot keys parentheses, that will give us the keys at the upper level. The one that we care about right now is just geometry because geometry is basically contains all the bounds of the area that's going to be showing you as well as the the center point which is the address that we care about then from here we gotta remove the keys oh part and that'll give us the next sub thing which is just the geometry portions but that's still too much information that we want inside here we can see easier which keys we want and then for us we want the location because that gives us the latitude and longitude of the center of this boundary which is the closest point to what's important to us right now so from here we can just do this all in one line do geocode results and then in brackets for the first layer do geometry Oops. and then in another brackets we're going to do location and sure enough this will hopefully give us the latitude and longitude um, so there we have it that's uh, that's a pretty simple way to get the lat long um, in one of the coming upcoming videos we'll show you how to loop through all those cities um, that 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 Craigslist has a presence in we'll get all the lat longs for those cities and eventually plotted on a map with the prices of all our iPhones that we searched up. Till next time. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to hit subscribe and we'll see you next time.